today we're going to be doing one of two things. Well, at this point in time, of today at least. So the first thing is I've cleared up all the desk space down here. The second thing is going to take that PC, put up maybe up here on the surface, just reconfigure the monitors. We're going to then install this fan, which I've been meaning to install for a while. It's one of the Nocto fans. Um, basically, when I built the PC, one of the fans was not working properly. It was always spinning at max RPM and gave me a massive headache. So that's just a replacement fan I've never installed from like a year ago. So hopefully it's still fine. And then also to install the uh, M.2 as well. So this is yet to be installed. The Sabron uh, Rocket 4 Plus, which just means it has faster speeds of the Gen 4 PCIe. And then later on, the rest of the flight ordered should be arriving today between 4 to 7 p.m. So hopefully we get that all sorted and done. So let's try and get that PC from down there on that desk. Because um, as you may be able to see, it's not in the easiest of positions to just kind of get to, if you know what I mean. Like I keep it quite really clean and tidy. As you can see, it's like no marks on the case. I always clean it weekly if I can very dust free because I do clean it when I can as well interior and the exterior the more the exterior is easy to clean um, cable management this is just the keyboard cable that I've disconnected because the one that there I'm just going to push the monster back a bit which does annoy me because I have to reconfigure this all the time but it's a small brass to pray installing these two so yeah let's get to it this is always annoying because that thing weighs a ton it's at least like I don't know the case is like maybe I don't know. This is minimum 10 to 15 kilograms of weight. But it's like cumbersome weight, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, hopefully we get it done. Basically, this one fan here is basically going right there. That's where it was supposed to go. Then I'm going to reduce the overall fan speeds of all uh, three here and then the three down at the bottom. Clean up the intake a bit more as well when I'm inside of it. And also just to see if I need the it's clean the exhaust as well. And also the one at the back as well. I forget there's one at the back sometimes, but I clean the back of that, but never the internal of the back one. Probably should do. <laughs> but let's get to it. Alright, let's go. Okay, so I've given it just a once over clean. We got up on the desk. Just some dry wiping, nothing more than a dry wipe. I'm using some plastic I think it's plastic, rubber, I think no, rubber, rubber, these are rubber gloves. So I'm using some rubber gloves just so I don't conduct charge to it. I am also discharging over there. Also, this is connected to ground as well. So in the UK, we have three pins and that third pin is a ground cable. Don't mean to do that, but basically all the way through, third pin here is the ground cable and it goes directly into the main. So it's a grounded, the case is grounded. So this is completely grounded. So in the UK, you have better chance of not frying your electronics because the grounded part of your plug. Nice. So we got our boot right here. So this is the boot NVMe uh, PCA Gen 4 version 1, I think. Then under here, we're going to get to this one here. This is where the second one's going. There is another one, I think, but I don't remember where it is. Unless this motherboard only had two slots. I think I only had two slots, which is fine, I don't mind. I can always upgrade in, in the future, but yeah. It's also got like mass storage at the back, as you can see, for um, drive bays, but I don't want to bother with that. I want fast storage. So like I said, give it once over clean. It was fairly dusty, but most of it was okay to a degree. There's also some remnants of dust on top of this all-in-one uh, control um, temperature modulator thing. Basically tells me the temperature of it, and also it is the heat sink as well, and also the uh, water and to the fans with the radiator. Um, but yeah, so I gotta undo these two here, and then I will install this, and then put the shroud basically back on. So this one here I bought with its own sort of heat sink, but this one doesn't come with one. You can buy one as extra, or you can just um, use the one that's already here. And this one is fairly okay to agree anyway, it's fully metal, anyways, from what I'm feeling. It's very cold actually. I made sure I turned the PC off for at least an hour before doing this because I wanted to fully discharge before I actually touch the PC that I use very often because it's very expensive. It's old, it's old gen, it's like, that's a 3080, that's a Ryzen 9 5950X, you know, it's not a Ryzen 7, but it's still 
very expensive and these are really nice Noctua fans that you know server, server raid fans I don't like the colour scheme like if it was all black spot on okay so we've just taken it off there's the little heatsink shroud I always love these copper boxes these copper style boxes they come in so let's just undo this oh. These are really nice boxes. Sabrent, two terabyte. And that's what's going inside. Rocket 4 Plus. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, where's the little screw though? Uh, hmm. Normally it's like a little screw to go in here. Unless that's that one that. Don't think so. Where's the screw at? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Maybe I'll search my other box and hopefully I can find the extra screw. Well, it won't go in, will it? No. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Unless it fits. Well, we'll cross the road when we get there. Which is now. You see, this one here has a screw. Maybe that is a screw. Maybe it's... Maybe it's big enough. No. Okay. <clears throat> that's interesting. Okay, so... We went on a little bit of an adventure, and I was looking for this one screw. This is it, this is all I was looking for to install this, M.2. And I only was given one for this one here. Luckily, I have another PC that I've built that's on the channel, and I didn't have to disassemble the M.2 in here to take off that one and just kind of scrap, not really scrap it, but you know, just kind of like have it without any sort of boots. I could do external boot, but I'd rather have internal. Luckily, that screw was sitting right there. So, for all this, like taking all the motherboard cases and taking that down and getting the motherboard boxes out and the one in there as well, I <sighs> pray God I don't lose this one tiny screw. It's the only other one I have that's not already installed, apart from obviously this one as well that's in this one. But you know, that was the most annoying 10 minute search of my life. I thought, okay. I'll just take the M.2 out of there. Oh, okay, that's in the way. Oh, okay, this is gonna take a lot longer than I thought. No, just take it out right at the other one, the M other M.2 slot here, and good to go. So I'm so glad I have another PC that I built. That's, this is the only time I've actually been glad I have two PCs. <laughs> Cause that's just kind of like a, like a little storage I have. Like it's, it's got all the base safety stuff. It's basically got everything backed up on that one because that's two terabytes in there and that's only one terabyte in here. So yeah. Okay, so for jobs like these, I always lie the PC down because there is such a great risk with having it just upright that with that one minuscule tiny screw that I don't have a spare of, I lose it. <laughs> it is royally screwed for me. So as you can see, it's just right there. All done now. Nicely put in. And all you need is the world's biggest screwdriver, of course, just to install that massive screw, if you can even focus on it. There we go, kinda. Oh, yeah, yeah, such such great focus on such a large object. There we go, that's a grand screwdriver, but such a massive screw, you know? Only as tight as it needs to be, and that's good to go. So yeah, um, got it all sorted out. I know you shouldn't probably enclose it beforehand, but it's all done and dusted. Um, this is actually the same fan, but it's just a different like style, so it's newer, so it doesn't come with this sort of extra thickness, and it's still kind of the same. There's like little right rubber pads, anti-vibrational stuff on it, but it does you can actually add onto it. Looks like um, it's got these little like imprints here, and it does have these anti-vibrational sort of like you know just to like make them stay onto the case and so the other ones but these are just longer and they can be more snipped off and the other ones were obviously like not as poking out but these just kind of <laughs> drip down a lot but I'm not too fussed about that to be honest I just, as long as it works that's what I'm fine to, that's what I care about but it's also like 10 times cleaner now and more dust free so that's going to be helping with performance anyways okay so initially it didn't show up on the PC so we're currently just going into disk management and I'm currently just formatting the disk itself so it's now showing up so initially it comes up like kind of black grayed out and then basically just says instead of boot it comes up another one to click the second one 
go through the steps you would have to like basically formatting the drive, initializing it, renamed it to whatever I wanted to do. And I think I named it two terabyte plus gen four. I was this close to saying plus ultra just because of Boku no Hero Academia. I am into anime, but I was this close to renaming it plus ultra gen four. <laughs> Don't mind me. So that's now all sorted. I got a bit of like, oh yeah, I had to just like do that quickly. And there's a bit of glare behind me. So that's that done. Okay, so now I want to sort out that fan. So what this one is actually, it's, in, it's installed into a pump, not actually enough fan slots. So I need to reconfigure that a bit. But that should be working. And then if I just do a quick sort of, there we go. We now have that fully installed. Two terabytes, well, 1.81 you know, out of the two. So yeah, that is that part of it all done. There is more parts to come and that's later on today actually. So this is hopefully gonna be an all one part video. Cause that took a lot of effort to do. <laughs> yeah, and I just, I remembered, I was like, there's something not quite right, why it's not showing up. I was like, oh yeah, I had to do that and that. Cause I remember when I was uh, doing other stuff and formatting other drives, I was like, oh yeah, I had to do that, didn't I? Cause my other PC didn't show up either. And I was like, oh yeah. Cause I tried to do sort of two. And I was like, there's something not quite right here. In the end, I just left it as one. So yeah, onwards and upwards from here. Well, basically just more to come really. And then also eventually I get rid of these monitors and swap them out for new, better ones. More card accuracy. These are better for gaming than card accuracy. About OLED, you know. But that's, takes costs money. And that's, you know, this is step by step. It's not like all at once. And I basically I do a review on the monitor when I get it and everything else I can normally do. I, just, I really love these OLED panels, don't get me wrong. Just the car is just a little bit lacking. It's just a little bit lacking. Okay, so talk about perfect timing. So my other stuff has actually just come. So right now we're just transferring the files over from the boot to this storage. So we've got the photography files, which is like 280 gigabytes of my photography. As we can right click on properties and see, right there, 286 gigabytes of photography, which is, is like 5,000 photos, but they're like RAWs and JPEGs. And then also, my other stuff has arrived. So we've got the new keyboard, the wireless G915 uh, from Logitech. It's actually got quite a lot of weight to it. I've actually uh, boarded off the uh, address, you can't see it. And then also my other items from Amazon, which we will get to. Basically, one's a mouse pad. So instead of having one that when you went from here to here, have an extra one, this will go further back and cover all of it, which would be really nice. And also I don't want the wire as well, so we're going fully wireless. Yeah. I've committed to the wireless gang. Can't stop. Can't stop. Okay, that can stop me, but not for long. The unboxing one hand experience is painful. Damn, this stuff hurts. This let me just put my foot down real quick. Okay. 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 So this is why I have feet, you know. I don't know why I've decided to wear these ankle weights. Like I thought I was going to use them, but I didn't realize how much of a hindrance I'd be. So there we go. 1 200 by 400. Nice. I've actually uh, cleaned the desk before I did that, so. Let me just uh, turn this off. Love this mouse, really light. And let's get to putting this down. Okay, that's that done. Bit of plastic in there. <coughs> Information download. Okay, I don't know. It's a mouse pad. I don't Oh my god, it now in, like, increases its potential by 20 folds because I installed this rubbish. No. Oh, that. That is not. Is that 120? Or 1200? I don't think so. Maybe it is. Oh, it is. It's kind of rolling up a little bit. Oh, that. It's kind of sexy. I should have round off the desk a bit. <laughs> kind of the. Yeah. Let's make sure. Oh, that. That already 
looks really nice. I wanted it 1 200 by 300 because I wanted half the desk, but to be honest, I kind of like it. I like it more than I thought I would. I wanted a kind of 50 50 split, but unless it was from like Linus Tech Tip Store, they had one you could configure from like so many 100 mil by 100 mil. Yeah, this was just like by 200. 400 or 600 and like I only have so much depth to the desk so I wasn't doing 600 that's all of it so I wanted at least some part of the wood I like seeing it okay and now for the keyboard okay this is a UK style keyboard so the enter key will be bigger there you go so you've got a big enter key there we go I like that People out if it wants to come out. Yes. And you got the little like dongle bit at the bottom here. Okay, cool. Which I'll actually not need this at all. Because I'm just gonna stick onto the front of the PC like I did with the other one. So, so that's for them. Oh, that's for the mouse and that's gonna be for the keyboard. Hopefully it'll be fine. Should be fine. Hopefully there's no interference. There shouldn't be any interference. Look at my insane skills. No, but uh, yeah. These are tactile, I believe, not mechanical. I'm not too fussy, I get used to it eventually. <laughs> also, I bought one of these, um, what are these again? What was this again? Oh yeah, this is a battery bank for replacing my old one that is currently dying. So this is actually quite a nice one because it actually tells you the uh, amount of charge in it and it can apparently charge an iPhone like it claimed 10 an iPhone 12 10 times or 12 times something like that but uh, I don't really mind as long as it charges the phone <laughs> more than my current one that's all I care about really it's like a brick but this is the uh, screen that tells you the charge that was satisfying hold oh, down all going in the floor or my leg get off my leg that was satisfying so it's got two USBs on the front and it's uh, th holding 30,000 milliamps, I think. And then it's got a little button on actually on the side, on and off. It's currently 80% charge. And you can refresh it, apparently. No, that's just the way it looks on the screen. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's 80% charge already, that's really nice. And this is actually for my camera. If it's actually it's what it says it was gonna be. This is supposed to be, uh, why is it holding this down? There you go, it's just like an Oregon with a look. These are extra batteries for my camera that I'm holding. So this, which tells you how charged they are, with little, like, LED lights. Do, 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 do. I thought it was going to be a bit more animation, but it is what it is. Because I only have one battery, and I, when I go out for photography, yeah, the battery goes quite quickly if I'm doing videography. So. And also, if I go out for a long time, it's, the battery goes for my photography as well, so these two batteries There we go, one-handed, I know I'm a pro Two I mean, I want to keep it there, but that's just so it's out of the way And the cable I would like the mouse to match a bit, so I might just wrap it, but I'm not too fast It'll be... Oh, this also has something on it as well Oh my god, there's all everything has something on it It's fighting me Oh my god, that's rough. Okay, on the floor you go. There we go. And this will just sit at the back for that now. So, turn this on. How? <laughs> okay. Okay, so it looked like there was a little switch at the top here. I didn't realize. I was looking everywhere for like a good five minutes. I was like, okay, does this one do it? Does this, does this, does this, wait, wait. And I just remembered the mouse. The mouse had a function where you just turn a flip on. I was like, I bet you it was somewhere on the keyboard. Somewhere like you can't see very well. It's like a little switch. And I was like, yeah, it's there. So it was currently actually already started off at 55% charged. And yeah. I'm actually going to change the color profile of this, hopefully. Uh, on by Mary off. Don't know we want to. On. Uh, device settings. We want to change the color profile of it, maybe. Um, oh, here it is. So inactive lighting. Okay. Dim active breathing color rainbow. Okay. Start after one minute. Uh, all lights off after five. 
Yeah, so I will change. Okay, so onboard Murray mode. It's currently off. Profile one. There's a lot you can do. Fair amount. It's got like Left for Dead. You got Overwatch. You got Valorant. You got League of Legends profile slot. Enable. Disable. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna work on that, but otherwise it's just gonna go for a very quick change. I wanna kinda slow it down a bit, you know. Uh especially this, this is kinda irritating. A lot RGB is okay, but too much is just too much. So yeah, we've got the battery bank, we've got the mouse pad map, which I am loving right now. The fact that it covers just enough. Um obviously it's charging, that's the cable for the mouse as I say. It's actually let me test the cable, I actually haven't tested it yet in terms of typing capabilities. Let me just get up a uh, good old Google document and let's just start typing into Google. That's one handed. Oh, not bad. Hi, how are you? Is what I typed. Fairly okay. The spacing isn't that bad. So what this left-handed hi, how are you? The spacing is a little close together from what we used to. The other keys and the other keyboard had like more of a like um more of a nice kind of feel to them. They were more like designed for I guess more of like a I don't know how to describe it. Like a mountainous feel. Like you see how they kind of peak on both sides. It kind of got this little dip in the middle. These are more just flat keys, more low profile. It does have that sort of like, you know, because the stand on the back, so it does kind of have an ergonomic sort of stance to it. You might want like a wrist rest here, but it's low profile, probably not needed. This I think is a scroll functionality. Oh no, this is for the volume. Okay. Don't like scroll, that's okay. Because this is independent from this, so this is fine to have a hundred, so it doesn't do anything. Because you see down here is actually where it's at. PC volume is actually here. This won't change if I do this. See, I go up and down. If I go down, this won't change. See, it's independent from each other, so that can always be a hundred. Because there's no external speakers, that's why it's fine. Uh, so yeah, and then we've got this battery for my camera, just because this is an old one now and it may die. And we installed that. And what else what came as well? I don't remember. That's one, two, three, four. That was it, yeah. Plus five and the six. Um, and one, this as well. That's pretty much everything. So yeah, it's a... Uh, it's just a very small and easy upgrade. This, especially the mouse pad, that's actually really lovely. Um, I love it more than I thought I would to be honest because it's not what I initially wanted and what I found was this was what that was left but the one I've had now is for at least a year or two old and <laughs> I didn't clean it properly initially so it had all this residue left on it from the tissue paper that I tried to clean it with and it just frayed into the fabric and it could never be cleaned off properly um, so yeah eventually I will upgrade the monitors to OLEDs when I get to I, I want a 4k OLED 144 hertz. I think there actually might be 27 inch OLED out there. Hmm. I'll look into it. But it's something I want to get down the line because it's not like a necessary upgrade. To you. These were like small upgrades I kind of needed in a sense. So yeah, this is going to be for me, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, upgrade video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully, not another six months from now. But it's a monitor thing. So it might be a while because it's going to be an expensive one. So catch you guys next time. And yeah, I hope you guys stay around. Until next video, because <laughs> they are, they are like spaced out very far from each other. I also am working now, so that that's also why there's been like no video for six months because I start my job. So that was the the delay as well. So I'll catch you guys next time. Good night. Goodbye. Good morning. Wherever you're from. Uh, until the next video. <laughs> Just laying it so you know there there will be a next one, sometime in the future. Sometime. But till then, goodbye.